Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here solo dolo doing another deconstruction and relocation on Madden 19. What we do here in these is I go ahead and I take a team, I break them down, I relocate them, and I try to rebuild them. This is the fourth one of these that I will have done on the channel. If you like what you see here, pretty soon up in the top, there should be uh, links popping up to check out our other relocations. So if you do like what you see, check those out. Some of them include my uh, co-host, TNT Dynamite, once we start playing through the games. But basically what we do here is we break down a team, we completely deconstruct them, and then we try to rebuild them up in Madden. So... With that being said, this time I am doing the New England Patriots, a team that tons of people hate because they've been good forever, and it kind of hurts my heart just a little bit, because I'm not going to lie, I do like the Patriots. I've liked them since I was a kid, grew up in Cleveland, I'm a huge Browns fan, I am also a giant Patriots fan, since they were as bad as the Browns have been for the last couple decades. So let's get right into it. Like I said before, if you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, we drop numerous videos a day. And there, there should be links popping up for our other franchises if you'd like to check those out. There's a playlist for everyone on the channel. So here's what we do. The first thing's first. We're going to go into the team. And anybody on the team over 30 is automatically getting taken, put on the trade block. So let's go ahead and roll through that. Of course, touchdown Tommy, one of the greatest of all time. We're going to add him. It's, I'll be curious to see what he gives me. Uh, Goskowski. I don't even know if you can trade kickers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit him to the trade block. Uh, let's see here. Edelman. Oh, man. All these guys, they're all going to be traded away. I don't realize how many old guys the Patriots had on their team. So as we go through, um, I will do some other things to get rid of players on the team. No, I don't want to do that. Can I please put this? I don't. I guess I can't send that guy. So what we'll do is we'll break everybody down. We'll move to another location. Um, I may play a game, something like that. I'm not going to trade all those guys. So we will go through that. And then I'll probably, on this one, uh, I'll probably end up simming through the season uh, again just to see where they're at, see if we can build them up. But I do want to play a game here or there. I don't know where I'm going to move these teams yet, but I do. I'll go fly by ear. We'll see what happens. And see who we end up getting on our team and all of that. So as I do this, I didn't realize nearly they had nearly so many 30-year-old players on their team. And then what will happen next? Actually, I'm going to do everybody who's 29 as well. That's normally what I do. Just to get the team really young and really extra terrible before I take it over. And then I'm going to go through and add anybody on the team who has a giant salary as well. Because I want to clear out their cap. I want to clear out the old players. Which a lot of times are the best players. And we will go from that. So let's go ahead and see here. Who on the team has a big contract. Salaries. Alright. Total contract. Alright. So... Stephen Gilmore, he is ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and add him to the trade block. Uh, Devin McCourty is already there. S. Mason. Uh, he's, 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 he's not that crazy, but he's, he's a young guard. I guess I can keep him around. He's already there. So it looks like everybody else that's kind of on the team that has a big salary uh, is going to already be on the trade block. So what I will do now is I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break and look at... I'm going to actually go ahead and put this on the trade block as well and see all the trade offers that come up. And what I'll basically do is take the pretty much the best offer I get for everyone uh, just so I can easily get the team down to as trash as possible. So what I will do right now is I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break and I will be right back to see what I can get for these players. All right, everybody, here we are. We're back uh, after I got my first set of offers. And of course, the best players on the team got offers. So Tom Brady, let's see what he is worth to the field here. Third, a second, a second. Is anyone offering a first for Tom Brady? 
They oh Green Bay is, oddly enough. Everybody wants him. Nobody wants to offer a first round pick. So I, I will take the only team that's offering a first round pick, and that is Green Bay. Oddly enough, with Aaron Rodgers, they still want to trade a first pick for 41 year old Tom Brady. Take him. See ya. Bye. All right, let's see here. Julian Edelman. Who are you who are you gonna go to, buddy? Um third, there's a second. All right, the best. Second and seventh. And it looks like the second and sixth. Second and sixth. So, uh, let's see. 50, 138, 40. All right, I'll, Buffalo. Later, buddy. He's already on the plane to the frozen tundra of Buffalo. Devin McCourty. Let's see where you're going to go, buddy. The Vikings, 267. 265. Two, Two six, two seven. All right, two five. All right, cool. Carolina Ho. Sail away, friend. All right. Stephen Gilmore. Oh yeah, he's he's worth a lot, man. He's a he's a young dude. There's a two. <laughs> that two six six, six two six two five two five. It looks like two ooh two five seven, two seven. Two five. I don't really care about a seven. So eighty nine, forty nine. Oh, that's actually that's even better. All right, I'll take. I'll do that. That's great. See you later, buddy. The most picks. Get them all in here. And finally, Gronkowski. Where are you gonna go, buddy? You're twenty nine. You're on the decline. You've actually retired. Two six, two six. A two for the Rams. Uh, two seven, two seven, two seven. So we got two six and two six. All right, Minnesota. All right, later, Gronkowski. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we got all those guys sent away. We're gonna advance the week again. Uh, see if any more guys pop up to trade after we got rid of that first wave. All right, cool. We got a couple more. Jay, Mc didn't I just trade him? Oh, I traded Devin. Now trade Jason. Uh, let's see, two and a six, two, four, seven. That's probably going to be the best I got. Yeah, two, four, seven, two, Green Bay as well. Man, Green Bay, you just want all my players. All right, and then we'll go down here, and we got, oh, the kicker, dude. Who are we going to get for the kicker? Five, a four, a four, five, a five, five, let's see, four and a seven. All right, Tennessee, you can take him later. Can't believe they wanted the kicker. That's great. All right. Um. All right. So advance the week one more time. See if any more trades pop up. And oh yeah, a Claiborne. So let's review offers for him. Get rid of him. What do you got? A three and a seven. All right, Oakland. Welcome Adrian Claiborne to Oakland. All right. And then we have what is this? This is week. I got to cut players already. This is week three going into week four. I guess I already have to cut players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut over, cut the players I got to cut and see if I get any more trade offers. And then uh, I will cut all the other guys or try to make some manual trades uh, with any of the guys left that are over 30. If not, I'll just cut them and fill the team up with free agents. So I'm going to take a quick break to do that. And I'll be right back to show you what we have going on from there. Okay, everybody. So I was able to trade Patrick Chung to the Redskins for a first round pick and I had to give up a seventh round pick too. So that is one thing. I'm going to try to trade one more player. If not, I'll be right back to get to the start of the season and show you the roster. All right. Looks like I was able to get one more first round pick next year from the Seahawks for this other 30 year old guy. So what I'm going to do now is I will go ahead and, uh, wrap everything up and get into the beginning of the season and go over the roster with you guys and go from there. I will be right back. All right. And I'm back here. I'm going to go ahead and advance this week, which will take us to week one of the regular season. I've went through and cut out all the players on the team that are over 30 that didn't get, I couldn't trade, etc. And I'm going to go through and show you guys the depth chart right now. So we can see who is on this team and see how we do. I'm going to go ahead and reorder it. I'll reorder as we go through it. So we have uh, Nick Mullins. He is our quarterback. And he's ranked 70. 
Then running backs, we actually are pretty decent. We got James White, Sony Michelle, which I'm actually going to switch to make the person, the starter, I mean, and then uh, Jeremy Hill. So fullback, we have Elijah Wellman. He's good in 62, so that's great. Wide receivers, ooh, we got Philip Dorsett, Cordell Patterson, Geronimo Allison, Chris Moore, Philly Brown, and Braxton Berrios. Uh, tight end, Dwayne Allen, Hollister, and Anderson. Left tackle, let's see here. We got an 81, Trent, uh, Trent Brown, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, left guard, 84. So at least my line is going to be decent. 84 center, right guard, 89. So that's not bad, and right tackle. Uh, 75. Okay, cool. He's a rookie, but you know, so let me go ahead and put this guy back up there. So there we go. All right. So let me go in left end. We have a uh, John Simon 78 Trey flowers is 88 defensive tackle 84 and I'm only run, I'm running a three, four. So that's only gonna be using like one or two of those guys. I Maybe mean, I should do a four, three. 79 for my left outside linebacker, middle linebacker. We got, what, Juwan Bentley, 75, and then 74, 71. So not really all that great of players. We're also linebacker, Davanta, or Danta Hightower. He's good, 85. Cornerbacks, uh, Jonathan Jones, J.C. Jackson. Nobody is really all that great. Free safeties, uh, Duke, da Duke Dawson Jr., dude. Look at him. And strong safety. All right, Harmon. So the team isn't completely terrible oh we got a uh, matthew mccrane is the kicker punter is Corey bajorquez kick returner is going to be oh philly brown look at you stepping up in the clutch why is cordell patterson not the guy who's returning kicks that's what i'm curious about because he's a 98 overall i knew that going into this i'll make him the second and i'm going to make cordell patterson oh he is okay that's why because he's the main punt returner all right, so that's good. Our third down running back is going to be James White. I'll keep that. That's fine. Power back, Sonny Michelle. Slot wide receiver, Chris Moore, Geronimo Allison, or I'm going to go with Geronimo Allison. Actually, I'm going to go with Chris Moore because I think Geronimo Allison is going to become the starter. Because I'm going to move uh, Cordell Patterson down a little bit. Because he's like, he's kind of old. So I'd rather give like some other guy a chance. All right. So we'll give him that role. He'll be the, he'll probably come in as the slot, etc. And that's what we're going to do. So that's going to be the team that is going to lead us into the promised land. And then we're going to re relocate him somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. So I'm going to take a quick break. And I'm going to start simulating the season. And when I get to where I can start picking the team, etc. I will be right back and show you guys. And it's finally gave me the option to choose my city. Uh, as you can see, we're 0-4. No surprise there. Uh, week 5 here. So let me go ahead and start this relocation and see the available cities. So who we got? We got London. We have Mexico City, which we've done previously. We did the Mexico City Golden Eagles. Go ahead and check that playlist on the channel if you want to check it out. Toronto. We've done Toronto. The Toronto Mounties. So go ahead and check those out as well if you want to see them. We got San Antonio. Orlando, Salt Lake City, Brooklyn, Memphis, Chicago, Sacramento, Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Austin, which we've also done. The Austin Desperados. You should go check out the Desperados franchise on the play on the channel. It's top notch. Me and TNT Dynamite got a pretty good franchise going there. I think we did three seasons of that one. Uh, we have Dublin, which uh, is another overseas one houston can bring the oilers back man Ooh, that'd be good oklahoma city st louis san diego las vegas and then london of course so hmm i'm really torn i don't know if i want to do dublin or bring back the houston oilers so hmm I think that I will go ahead and do the Dublin Celtic Tigers, maybe. Or the Antlers. Ooh, the Antlers would be good. Or the Shamrocks. We will see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Patriots to Ireland. So there is that. We'll confirm it. Boom. They are moved. All I'll do is advance week. 
It's going to ask me for what team name I want to pick now. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our name. Okay, do we want... No. The Celtic Tigers? That's pretty. That looks pretty good, dude. The Antlers. <laughs> the Shamrocks. Mm, Shamrocks is not... They're all... They're all two interest. Let's see here. The antlers are kind of funny. The Dublin antlers. Celtic Tigers. The Dublin antlers. I got I to gotta do it. All right. That's going to be great. All right. Let's go ahead and advance the week to the next week. And now we're going to pick our uniforms for the Dublin antlers. Oh, my God. Those things are hideous. Uh, best choice by far reminds me of the Colts or Pats alternate what I don't know this is really the only choice for me 40% 40% on this one and 20% on this one they literally are all the same exact uniform except they have like a little bit difference okay so that has stripes oh my god that green on brown is hideous who I love it all right let's see here uh, then I guess what's this one that one's that's just a plain jersey Whoa, love, they're all the same helmets. Can't tear myself away. I actually like those ones the best because there's like the most color differential. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the ones I want the best, not the ones the fans want the best. Boom, that's our uniform. All right, and then we will go ahead and advance the week to next week, and I'll pick the stadium. All right, so here's our stadium. What are we going to do? All right, let's see here. We're going to go advanced, of course. Deluxe traditional. A I don't want to put a dome. Maybe a, maybe a retractable roof. Futuristic in Ireland. I think that's cool. Canopy. I think we'll go futuristic. That's what I think we'll go. We'll do this, and we will begin construction. So we're going to be the double antlers. We're going to be in a futuristic stadium. And, oh, my God, we're two and five. Holy crap. And... That's what we'll do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. I'm going to get to the end uh, where the point where I can, you know, re do stuff so we can start this rebuild to see if we can actually rebuild the team into a winner. And I will go ahead and be right back when I get there. And we will go through how everyone performed this season together. So I will be right back. And here we are at the end of the regular season. I'm at the point where the first thing I'm going to do is... Fire my staff. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to start resigning, which is pointless because I'm not going to resign anybody. I'm going to fire him. Yeah, I'd like to fire him. I'm going to fire him. Actually, hold on. Nelson Curd, scouting specialty QBO. Yeah, I should probably keep him. And then I'm going to take him. Oh, wait. He's already done. I'm not going to fire him. Actually, I want I want to keep him. He's on there for five years. Nelson Curd, you're going to stay, which is weird. I never do that. But I do need a good quarterback, so I will make that happen. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and advance the week. I'm going to have to uh, advance the divisional round. Uh, let's go look at the actual way to the end, and we'll show it all at once. So we'll advance because I want to try to hire my staff if they give me the option. We're going to advance to the conference week now. Do I get a chance to hire a coach yet? I do. All right. So let's go ahead and see who we can hire here. Um, Coaches. Matt Hedrick. Let's see, defense, he's a vertical power run, vertical zone run, Thomas Pitta. I mean, he's been a, he's been a coach in Madden forever. It's so funny. Uh, vertical zone run. We're going to do somebody like this. Vertical zone run and multiple. Th <laughs> Griffin Murphy. Wasn't he like a real coach? I don't know. But he's vertical zone run, and he is uh, multiple 3-4. So that's what I prefer to run. We're just going to go with him because he looks different. <laughs> uh, we'll offer him that. We'll see if he takes it. Let's see. Uh, trainer, I need that. That guy's getting a billion offers. Like, I want a guy who has world class. because Oh, here's a guy. Who's the lowest guy with world class? Daniel Morgan. He looks interesting. Uh, and all these guys are bad. All right, so we'll take this level 17, dude. Nope. Come on, bro. All right, level 18. Daniel Morgan. He looks like he'd save everybody's life. All right, so what we'll do is we will go ahead and advance... Answer the Pro Bowl. Do my team have any Pro Bowl players? Ooh, I got both of them. Look at that. Coach and trainer hired. View Pro Bowl. Who made the Pro Bowl? Rivers. Oh, Bigger Mayfield. 
Sean Watson, Bell, Mixon, Gordon. I don't think any of these dudes are from my team. I doubt they had any sort of good anything on it. I don't know who who my defensive players were enough to like be able to make a assessment. So all right, so let's go ahead and advance the week to the Super Bowl, which is the off season. It looks like it was the Rams and the Steelers in the Super Bowl, so that's a spoiler alert, I guess. Uh, we will advance the next week to the off season, and then I'll go through everything for this for this year. All right. So, oh my God, look how ugly that is. It's all brown with antlers on the helmet. Thirty players to negotiate. That's that's great. That's gonna that's gonna be wonderful. So let's go ahead first off and go and check out the standings. My team. Who was I? I don't even remember. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was Patriots, duh. All right, so AFC East, let's go through them all. The AFC North, the Browns, look at them, 11-4-1, made the playoffs. The Steelers are 10-6. AFC South, the Texans and the Jaguars. The AFC East, I was 4-12, ha, but I was, I, was, I was still last. That's all right, though. The Jets at 7-9 made the playoffs. Uh, Chargers 13-3 made the playoffs. Let's see, Vikings and Lions from the Central. Train for Tom Brady didn't work for the Packers. Uh, Panthers at nine and seven. The East, the Cowboys and the Redskins at ten and six. And the end. West, it's the Rams. So let's go into the schedule next. We'll see who uh, who won the Super Bowl, how things went. Oh, it actually shows it up there. It was Pittsburgh. <laughs> but whatever. I will still go through the league schedule. Uh, man, Pittsburgh. God, I hate that. Why does Pittsburgh always have to be good, man? All right, so it was like the Jaguars beat the Texans, the Redskins beat the Cowboys, the Steelers beat the Jets, the Lions beat the Panthers, and then it went, let's see, Jaguars over Chargers, Redskins got lost to the Rams, Steelers beat the Browns in the playoffs. Of course, they always do. And the Vikings beat the Panthers, and then it was the Steelers over the Jaguars, the Rams over the Vikings, and then the Pittsburgh Steelers won 31-23. All right. As a Patriots and Browns fan, that makes me sad. I had a guy on my other video where I commented when the Steelers made the Super Bowl. He was like, he made, he was like, oh yeah, dude, that's why they won, and made me, uh, he swore at me, and it was funny. Well, let's see here. So let's see how this team fared, man. Let's see how this team ended up with their stats for the year. They're a bargain bin team for sure. So let's see, Nick Mullins ended up with almost 4,000 yards passing. That's actually not too bad. He must have been injured a little bit. Uh, 22 and 12, it's not bad. Rushing, let's see here. Oh, God, Sonny Michelle. Dude, you only had 666 yards, only 1,000 yards rushing as a team. Whew, no wonder we did so bad. Receiving, to my tight end, and Geronimo Allison. My tight, when your tight end has the most receptions and the most yards, you're in trouble. So nobody really did anything good on my team. Nobody had 10 touchdowns. Whew, no wonder he did so trash. How many sacks did the worst guy give up? 20. Both of these dudes gave up a ton of sacks. That's great. Defensive. Anybody, anybody shine? The top tackler on my team was a cornerback. That is perfect. That is like the epitome of terrible on my season. Look at Zach Viggle, Dante Hightower. All right. So nobody did good at all. Did anybody have any sacks? Holy jeez, Dante Hightower had seven. Why? My my ends, I guess, are all right. Interceptions, three. Oof, God, forced fumbles. Anybody? Did anybody do good? Oh, God, one, one, one. Did anybody have defensive touchdowns? Nope. And let's see, kicking. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, 73%. That's garbage. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. his. I mean, his, uh, that was a great punter right there. Kick returns. Cordell Patterson did not have a touchdown. He had a good, decent return. So did Philly Brown. Punt returns. He's all right. All right. So, yes, everybody was trash. Let's see the yearly awards for the league. Philip Rivers won MVP, which was weird. Uh, Coach of the Year, Anthony Lynn for the Chargers. All right, so now we'll go AFC Awards, Offensive Player of the Year, Phillip Rivers. Did anyone on my team do anything? They sure did not. Trash, Defensive Player of the Year, Ryan Chazier. 
Uh, nobody did anything on my team. So, even better. All right, rookie of the year. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Nick Mullins. Getting that, getting that Antlers award. All right. Oh, wow, look at the Browns. God, so many of the Browns. Did somebody do good on here? Oh, look at Sonny Michelle. He's good, too. So, that's that's promising. All right, anybody? Oh, I had a, a J.C. Jackson and Jawan Bentley. Oh, both of them showed up on the defensive. Best QB? Nobody on my team. Best running back? Nobody on my team. Best wide receiver? Nope. Offensive line? Nope. Defensive line? Nope. Linebacker? <gasps> High tower. Finally, someone did sub one for my team. Defensive back? Nope. God, look at these guys. Chargers, Chargers, Chargers. They are, uh, and Chargers. Four of the top five. Holy jeez. Kicker? No. <laughs> my kicker was so trash. So, that is what is going on with the team. There's their stats. I will show you guys their final uh, rankings uh, at the end of the season. This is going to be the last time we ever see this team. So here's the final roster and how, how they are. I got to resign 30 players. Half of these guys may not even make it. So Nick Mullins and Chad Kelly, uh, halfback, 88. Oh, God, Sonny Michelle, I think, went down? Maybe. I don't know. I'd have to go check. Fullback, he got a little better. Wide receiver, no one's pushing that 80 mark yet. Tight end, he, I think, got worse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he's old, too, so whatever. Uh, Trent Brown, I still got 80s, man, 85. I mean, I'm glad that my uh, my line is good. The uh, guards are 89. Tackles are, hey, he's getting better right there. So, all right, 78 for them, 89. Let's see, 83, 79. Let's see. 80 overall, middle linebacker, nobody's doing anything. 29, he's 86 over there. Got a bunch of trash cornerbacks. Uh, Duke Dawson got a little better. Duran Harmon, he's up there a little bit. My kicker, he's 74. The punter, and what kind of pick do I have? I have the third overall pick, which is pretty decent. So hopefully I can get a QB. I bet the teams in front of me probably need one too, and they'll steal them. So, all right. So basically, what's going to happen next is I'll do it. Uh, go to the off season. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sign these 30 players. I'm going to have to resign some. Of them. I'm going to do that uh, off camera because that's going to be super boring. And then uh, we'll get into the off season in the next video. Try to do one off season to build the team and see if we can do something in the next season, the first inaugural season with the Dublin Antlers. So, but that is all the time I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy these. We have other vi videos on the channel uh, with my co-host, TNT Dynamite. You got to check out our playlist. That has everything very, very broken down. You can check out everything we do. Horror game, horror games, complete games of other games, Madden, other sports. Check them all out. But for Jonas, I'll catch you on the next episode, which is the offseason. I am...